Hi, I'm Ed Tuna Susan. Welcome to Millbridge Speedway. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Derek Fernasiglio. And this week, it's a special week at the Millbridge Speedway. It's World of Outlaws and NASCAR night. And we've got Paul McMahon and Joey Saldana that are here from the World of Outlaws that are gonna race in the 500 Open Division tonight. It's a huge event too. It's $500 to win. And we've got almost 20 carts that are going to qualify for the main event tonight. Don't know how many they're officially going to take in the main, but it really should be an exciting night. Also, there's a bounty here at the racetrack. Carson Ella just got a hundred dollar bounty put on her head if anyone can beat her in the box stock division. But there's a little bit of a twist. If Carson Ellich starts at the rear of the field and wins the race, she gets the hundred dollars all for herself. So it's going to be a lot of fun to see what happens here tonight. Qualifying's up next. We're going to talk to some of our World of Outlaw drivers tonight and find out what they think of racing mini outlaws. stars come out and race and we've got Paul McMahon with us from the world of outlaws and Paul first how did you get involved in, in running a, a, an outlaw car? Well I've known Jimmy Ellis for a long time and uh, uh, Chris Dolan from the world of outlaws asked uh, if he'd come out and put on a little bit of show for everybody to come and race these guys tonight and uh, I've been one of the best in the outlaws for the stage in one you like the outlaws the big powerful sprint car that you're used to running. These are a lot harder to drive than my sprint car is. Uh, I went out there for 10 laps for hot laps and about wore me out. So uh, sprint cars seem a lot easier. You know, we got suspension on these. We don't have that suspension. But, uh, they're a lot of fun. The horsepower to weight ratio is, is, is about the same as the sprint cars, and they fly around this new racetrack. Here. Joey Saldana is one of the other World of Outlaw drivers that is joining us here tonight at the Mildred Speedway. And Paul McMahon has run these things before, so he has a little bit of an idea of what to feel. But that was your first time in the SKE 21. What did you think? I, I loved it. I thought it was a great experience. I can see where guys like Brad Sweet and Kyle Larson can get their talent from because uh, for the power to weight ratio, it's unbelievable. It's probably the closest thing to a sprint car and um, I'm glad we drove 600 miles here to enjoy this. So I'm looking forward to it tonight. Now, Paul said that these things react differently than the sprint car. Uh, what are some of the things that you're going to have to do to adapt to the driving system? I think the, the biggest thing with these cars is the wheelbase. It's so short and they don't have power steering. So every everything the car does, the front wheels are moving with the, you know, with the car. So I think as a driver, you think you need to continue to follow the front wheels. But with these cars, you don't want to move your hands. You want to keep your hands as straight as possible. And it keeps the front wheel straight. I think you'll make a faster speed, a faster lap, the straighter your hands are. So it's going to be interesting tonight. Hopefully I can get it figured out by the end of the night. Now, we posed the same question to Paul McMahon, we're going to ask you. This is all in fun, you know, we're all here to have a good time, but when the green flag drops, how serious of a, of a competitor in a race are you going to be? I think we all are competitors, that's why we're here. That's why we just drove 600 miles from New, <laughs> Egypt, New Jersey. And uh, the, the best part is, is I, uh, Paul started in front of me in New Egypt and I passed him with like five to go. So at least my ride from here, I passed him coming to Millbridge, so uh, hopefully we can do the same, so going back to the motel tonight, I can say, hey, I passed you tonight, so uh, definitely we're competitors and we want to run up. Well, maybe a little friendly rivalry going tonight. We're going to see which outlaw driver finishes in, in front of who tonight.
Well, we got through the heat races and the beginning of some of the features, and as you see, Mother Nature steps in, and unfortunately, it's a washout here tonight at Millbridge Speedway, and no racetrack is, immu is immune from having a rain out, and unfortunately, on World of Outlaws night, it happened to us, but you can come back and join us here. The next race is June 5th. So with all that going on, I'm Derek Pernasiglio saying thanks for checking out the races, and we'll see you for the next one.